Hi, it's Joy Kaufman here in Mekelele, Ethiopia, and I'm with Dr. Tess Spalum, who is formerly on the GC Executive Committee for five years and runs the clinic here and is just an amazing, inspirational man. I wanted him to be able to give you all a greeting. Thank you, Sir Joy. Uh, this is Tess Spalum Hagos from Mekelele, Ethiopia, northern part of Ethiopia, Tigray. And uh, I work at the Seventh Day Adventist Clinic. I'm a pediatrician by profession, and I'm the lead elder for the local church. And uh, in 2002, uh, 2010 up to 2015, I was also a lay representative uh, as an executive committee for the GC. And uh, that was a great uh, opportunity for me. And uh, I'm glad to send you greetings from uh, the, this part of the world. Uh, we have been under very difficult situation the last two years. We have been in war and we believe everybody was praying for us. Praise God that we are survived and now uh, to get such opportunity to be visited from our brethren and sisters. Uh, thank you very much for your prayer and for your help. And uh, we, I also expect that you continue your prayer and your support, especially for this part of the world to help the poor people here. Uh, we have so many challenges, and by the grace of God, we'll, uh, um, um, we'll uh, overcome all these challenges. And uh, we expect that the three angels message and the last message that we have to be spread to the people here, uh, so that the soon coming of our Lord will, will be soon. Thank Amen. you very much. God bless Amen. you. Amen. And, and you've been running a clinic here with um, through this war where there's no power. Basically, you have people have no money. Yes. And you've been running a pediatrician's beautiful clinic, actually, and doing it on so few resources and seeing so many malnourished children, so many children with, you said, acute respiratory illness yes. and diarrheal diseases. Yes. Yeah. And um, I just want to show we're here at the church. That sign, oh, you can't see it very well, but the sign is the Mekaleli Seventh-day Adventist Church. It's a beautiful location and head elder here, and they just blessed us. And we're excited for you to share the message of Farm Stew here. What What are your thoughts about Farm Stew? Oh, well, that's a great idea, really. That's very practical. And we, you know, it's, 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 think globally, act locally. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he has a I'm, MPH from yes, Loma Linda, from public health degree. So an alumni of Loma Linda University. Yeah. In public health. Uh, that opportunity I got from uh, Dr. Hart, Richard Hart, oh, president wow. of Loma Linda University. Okay. Yeah. I, I knew him in uh, Gimby Adventist Hospital where I worked just for one month wow. and that uh, helped me to join the Loma Linda University Public Health African uh, off-campus program. Praise uh, God. Yeah, so in 2000 and then that has also broadened my view and though uh, I'm a clinician, pediatrician, I'm also a public health personnel. So, um, yeah, uh, during this uh, challenging time, uh, we have been seeing so many children, very poor, who cannot pay uh, for free. And by the grace of God, um, that very difficult time has been passed. And God was so good all the time. He is still, God is good. And it is, uh, it's not by our might, by our strength, it is by the power of the Lord that we were able to pass such a big, unthinkable you know, challenge during the war where there was no resource at all, no money, no food at all, but no fuel, no electricity, but life still, uh, we survived that very challenge. And uh, as a church and the people, we are also trying our best to help people. And God has a plan in our life, and I was so glad to uh, stay here and to be a means of blessing for Amen. many people. Tremendous to the Lord. blessing, tremendous blessing. So honestly, he's so inspirational, and it makes me so blessed to be part of this global church and to meet someone who's been a representative at the highest levels and to see him in the trenches, like literally in the trenches serving the poorest of the poor, for sure. The Tigray has been the poorest of the poor in the last few years and um, we just pray for these people and that this church can be uh, 
blessed by our global church. That's my goal. They have so many opportunities, so many ideas, such great, young, fresh, creative leadership. And we've brought the message for Farm Stew here with our partner, Perugia Missions. And um, any thoughts on the Farm Stew message? Just you oh, yeah. heard just a little bit, just one day so far, just an hour really, but sure. your thoughts? Yeah, it's very amazing that it can be really applicable locally in our area. We have uh, the, the, the limited, it doesn't require a very huge resource. And uh, with, um, you know, as God uh, asked Moses, what do you have in your, at your hand? He just showed him the stick. So with that stick, God did so many miracles. Mm. So we don't have the resource here, scarce in all the resource, but I think it can be applied in our clinic um, area. There is some plot of land which is not yet our future for future expansion of the clinic, but it's, it's still an idle. You land. tell what you did there at the clinic. <laughs> there was some idle land, and yeah. what did you do yeah, during we, the crisis? We, yeah, we changed it into you know. Some we planted some um, vegetables. Yes. Layers. Actually, we have started the farm still. I can say. You honestly, you started you it out of, <laughs> yeah, out of desperation. Out of desperation, and we, we planted uh, some vegetables, and we are providing with very very low cost to the community. Yeah. And the, our customers to the clinic were buying vegetables from that yeah. plot of land. And the vegetables. church also took this other plot of idle land that was actually supposed to be a graveyard. It was a huge two hectare graveyard, so like four acres. And they planted teff, which yeah. is the Ethiopian grain that they used to make injera, which is exactly. super yummy. And you had a bumper harvest, like so much teff. To 20 quintals. Yeah. How much? 20 quintals. 20, 20 quintals. Yes. I don't know exactly the calculation, yeah. but... Yeah. They were telling me it was a great harvest. Very great harvest. And what this did you do for with the first all that? Time, this was the first, for the first time. Yeah. We never had them. It was idle for many years. Yeah, like this land was just in, out yeah, there. Out there, yeah. Well, it's our, you know, uh, burial place. But yeah. uh, the rain was good at, during that time, so we harvested the tip. And it was sold very, you know, very low price. For hungry people. For hungry people. It was Praise provided God provided to orphanage, to IDPs. IDPs are the internally yeah, displaced internally people displaced from people. the war. So, <laughs> yeah, so and he, you're also the founding director of an orphanage L here. Lola, exactly. Lola Orphanage. There is an orphanage. Uh, it was founded like 13 years back uh, for those affected and infected with HIV. Oh, Children, yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah. So this man is like a walking <laughs> Isaiah 58. <laughs> Um, and he was saying you were that, yeah. you were fed by manna during these two years. They the the government shut down the entire region of the country. No transport, no phone, no internet, no power, no fuel, nothing. It was a time of trouble, and God sustained them. Sure. Um, but it's I think it's time for us now to to be part of their team and honestly to hear their testimonies that are so faith inspiring. So. It's really been a privilege to worship with you today thank and to see your clinic last night. And praise God, thank you thank for your you, faithfulness. Thank you, praise God, and thank you for coming and visiting and for giving this opportunity yeah. and for the farm still. And we keep us in your prayer and supporting. Together we can make a difference. Amen. Thank I you. cannot forget you all. So, you. And his name, Dr. Teflon, Tesfalen. Tesfalen, means a world of hope. hope. Hope, so hope, this hope. is the Farm Stew Year of Hope, and I think he is representing that hope. I, 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 I'm not the hope of the world. I just show to people to the hope of the world. Amen. Jesus Christ. You're reflecting. So my my You're family glorifying. has wished me to be hope of the world. Amen. And I'm doing my best to show the people to the right person, to the to divine. Amen. Who, who is hope of the, the world. Amen. Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for letting his I'm, glory I'm shine through enough, you. I'm not, like what John the Baptist said, I don't deserve any any credit for this. Amen. It is through the Holy Spirit, the grace of God which is working. Amen. If there is anything good which has been made, it, uh, that is uh, the, the gift from above. Amen. We don't, we don't have anything good for us. Amen. For us. But when so we pretty. serve him, he blesses us and Definitely. makes it even more. We are more... just instruments. We yeah, are, exactly. We are servants. 
Yeah, he's my hero. Thank you. So thank you so much. God bless and bye-bye. Thanks for watching.